Hi everyone, today I'll be doing another tutorial on a bow ring or charm and this is a small one I'll be doing a tutorial for the large one so let's just get started. Today you need any hook, a loom, I'm not using rainbow loom today, an S clip or C clip, I'm using S clip and then as many colours as you want to like and one of using bow. It's best to have two colours, one for the centre and one for the actual bow. So let's just get started. So we're going to make sure ours are going to be towards us this time. And we are going to take one rubber band and go here to here. And then take another one and go here to here. Another one, here to here. So remember, this is a small bow we're making. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to take another one and go here to here. Another one here to here, and another one here to here. So it makes a honeycomb shape like that. Now we're gonna do the center. So go down one, two, like that. Now we're gonna do our next one. So go, but we're gonna do the center. So take two rubber bands you want for the center, double bands, and go up and down like that. Then we're going to place one band in a triangle, a knife free, like that. Now we're going to make another honeycomb by going here to here, here to here, here to here, and then do the other side, the left side, here, here to here, and then here to here, just like that. Let's do the center. So here to here, here to here. Now let's place one that's going to be a triangle here to here. But make sure it's a uh, normal triangle because really, like, so that's an upside down triangle. But yeah. So now we're going to place a cap band. So just take it on your fingers, take it, twist it, and place it back on. And stick it on the end one, or you can just do the double twist. And now it's time to loop. Because if you're ready, then keep on going. And it just if you're not, just pause the video and. and yeah. So time to loop. So we're gonna go through the cap band, which has two loops. Grab the top band and hook it forwards like that. Now we're gonna go, go through them. We'll just grab it and hit it forwards like that. So we hit the center. Now let's go for the cap band again. And grab the top band that goes to the left. And then go through them and grab it and pull it forward. Make sure you do go through the one that's in our triangle. And then take the next one and pull it in like so. Now let's go through the cap band again and pull the next one to the right. Like that. Now let's go through again and grab the next one and pull it up and forwards. The next one, take it, pull it up, up, and then. Now go through all them and grab the two rubber bands that you've done for the center and pull them up and on like that. Now we're going to go and grab the next band and pull it forward and then the next one forwards again. Like that, and now we're gonna go again and grab this top band right in here. Oops. Sorry, it's gonna be a little hard for me. Let me just do a cap for a second. So grab the top band, take it off, and pull it to the left. Now let's do the left side. So make sure you do go through the one that's in a triangle. Just like that. Now let's do the right side. So let's go through and grab it and put it to the side. And that's my dog barking. But then we're going to go through, grab it, pull it forwards. Go through, grab it, pull it forwards. And now stick your hook through all these rubber bands. Take one single band and hook and pull them off. And up onto there. 
And now we can just gently take it off a loom. Okay, this is what it should look something like. And now we're just going to take the back one through the front. And it makes a slip knot to the back one. And that's it. You're done. Please um, like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time on the channel. And I'm sorry about the S-clip. You don't need an S-clip. But yeah, see you next time on the channel. Bye.